Well, I've, I've always had an interest in cars, and I think sometimes my cars look like my shoes, and my shoes look like my cars, and I enjoy driving cars. So it made a lot of sense for me to finally uh, do a, a driving shoe. And I did them in some very uh, deep uh, traditional colors, uh, more spectacular colors, bright colors. Uh, they are inspired, but they're really inspired, yeah, by uh, by the 90, by the 60s, because I really like 60s cars. So in the 60s, they uh, they came out with these specific shoes that were dr just for driving. You only use them for driving. Now I know these have been used on the street because right now they're very trendy. But uh, really, originally they were just used for driving, for driving your car. So you can feel the pedals, feel the movement of the cars. So now when you're, there's more interest in cars again. So when you're driving a supercar, you want to feel one with a car. You don't want to have clunky shoes on. So you want to feel very integrated with a car. And that's why it's good to have a special shoe for driving a car in. There. And I like the addition of cars. If you look at my car that's next to us here in the booth, it sums up all of what I think of transportation should be. And it's what I think of these shoes. It sums up all of what walking and the experience of walking and movement and driving your car should be like, you know? It's got lots of tread on it to feel the pedals. It's soft, flexible, um, very comfortable, stitched around the top. Yeah, so the great for drop. Yeah, very aerodynamic shoe. There you go. Uh, I brought a 1965 Jaguar Mark 10 Custom. And that's a car that's uh, behind us right now as we're talking. A 1965 Jaguar Mark 10, and it's been customized. I did a lot of personalization on it. I personalize it. Um, I, I look around at a lot of supercars that are personalized, uh, but this car has been much more highly modified than the supercars that are here. So I'm, I'm designing, uh, I'm working on a design for a, a 1951 Jaguar. I'm customizing it. I'm going to personalize it. I put my name on it. I've got lots of uh, steampunk, I call it. It's a kind of vintage feel. Uh, it's going to have brass on it and lots of screws and customization. And I like the idea of personalizing things and customizing things. And that's why, you know, I did this shoe. Exactly.